Welcome to Designer Speak Games, the show where designers talk about all things games. My name is Christopher Scott. And I'm Luis Lopez. In this episode, we're going to talk about Mortal Kombat 11 on the Nintendo Switch. So this is all about Nintendo Switch mm-hmm. because we've never played the PlayStation 4 no. one. I've never even played the Mortal Kombat 11. So Luis is yeah. going to be the one talking. I'm just going to ask him questions. going to talk about Mortal Kombat. Get ding, ding, over ding, 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 ding. Actually, they did a... Before we get into it, they sent an awesome email. Yeah. Uh, did you get it? A newsletter? No, said, because I already have to get it. It actually said in like capital letters. Mm-hmm. Get over here. Actually, cool. I actually pre-ordered it, so I didn't get any message or promotion. Yeah, you were super excited. Right? Yeah, because I, that's the game of my childhood. It sounds so wrong. It's wrong, to be honest. That Mortal Kombat, I was a six-year-old playing Mortal Kombat. But <laughs> for me, it's a, it, it's a game that has grown up with me. Yeah, I actually remember playing the old ones. Um, and I used to love the old ones on the Sega. Sega Genesis. Sega Genesis, I played it, uh-huh, yeah. and it was awesome. So cool. Um, so, Luis, like, so like, like I mentioned before, I haven't played it, and uh, Luis, uh, you played it like a lot, I guess, yeah. over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, ninety hours. <laughs> ninety hours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, what is this? This is gonna be like a review, um, and I'm gonna ask Luis some questions and. Uh, that maybe you guys are interested or about or cons- maybe maybe even concerned about and then at the end Louise you give a, a score of 10 for Mortal Kombat 11 on Nintendo Switch it's very yeah. careful this is Nintendo Switch version yeah. um, because we haven't played it on the other consoles mm-hmm. uh, so uh, let's get into it Louise so how is um, the gameplay for example the gameplay to be honest is actually very smooth for the Switch like, yeah, because a lot of people were, con- were concerned about like the frame rate, the, the frame yeah, rate and all stuff. Because even if it's not safety, you have at least to get a stable theory to. Uh, I don't to believe get in frame through, rate at all. To be fluid, because a fighting game that has a slowdown is a nightmare. But uh, for I was actually surprised. Sixty solid. The only way it has slowdowns is like on fatalities or fatal blows that oh, are man. more like graphic more graphic game intensive but overall the fighting is awesome the local game uh, co-op is awesome i actually played with uh, some friends in university shout out to paul uh, <laughs> paul as we say here <laughs> uh, but for me the gameplay is solid uh, i already knew what i was getting into when i bought the nintendo switch version the thing mm-hmm. is i don't have a ps4 i only have my nintendo switch so yeah, and portable, it, portable mode is amazing. Is it better on the screen or is it better in portable? It's, it's better on the screen. Really? But big, is there a big difference? Yeah, it, there is a big difference. But when you play on portable mode, you have you are having so much fun that you don't even realize. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's actually pretty cool to have more combat on the go, to be honest. Yeah. Um, so does it like stay true? Because like, in more combat terms, I... The, all the old ones does it stay true to the old ones or is it like just a like completely different so um, it has everything that Mortal Kombat game has this is like the definitive Mortal Kombat game because now you have on the story uh, awesome story by the way is it yeah for a fighting game there is <laughs> for a fighting game it's cool we're not gonna be like the <laughs> like the, the last of us this is not the last of us this is not a war nothing like that this is a fighting game of, for fighting game standards it's a good story so you have chronica this character is like the god of all gods and she controls time so right. she brings back uh, fighters from the past so you have Vintage Sonya Blade, Vintage Sony, uh, Johnny Cage, oh, that's cool. uh, Raiden. Like Johnny Cage is the one I hate, right? <laughs> yeah, Johnny, you hate Johnny I Cage. Hate Johnny Cage, <laughs> amazing. No, I I remember a Scorpion, a Sub Zero, mm-hmm. and what is the look? Is it Luke Kang? Liu Kang. Luke Kang is the Chinese yeah. one, right? The, yeah, that is just like, the Shaolin Monk. Yeah, and he's cool. So you have classic Kitana, classic Kun Lao, classic Liu Kang, classic Scorpion, and classic Sub Zero. Scorpion is so it's a throwback to all the Mortal Kombat games. And you have the guy with the hat. 
Yeah, Kun Lao. Kun Lao's yeah. cool. He's and he has lightning. Yeah, he and Raiden too. Raiden is one I remember. Yeah, Raiden. Raiden's like boss. Can they yeah, he has his original costume uh, from the first games. So for me, and Kano too, like every character that was on Mortal Kombat 1 and Mortal Kombat 2 is there. So I remember, like, you have to guys that understand is like the Nintendo Switch is unbelievable. Yep. But it's not nowhere near as powerful no, no, as the no, PlayStation no, no. 4. Like, you're talking like the Nintendo Switch has the power maybe of the PlayStation mm -hmm. 3, maybe, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. PlayStation 3. In the middle. In, could be in the middle. In the middle of the PlayStation both generations. 3, PlayStation 3, to it's be honest, cool. was really yeah. good graphics, too. So, but the thing is that you know when you buy the Nintendo Switch, yeah. you're not worried about graphics, right? No, no, no. You're worried so, about gameplay and frame rate. Exactly. So, uh, how is the, the graphics compared to the Nintendo Switch version and the PlayStation 4 version? Because I remember that was the big thing mm -hmm. for everyone. Like, oh, I'm not buying this game because yeah. the, the graphics are so... How yeah. is the graphics so, compared to the PlayStation 4? As a big portable player, I'm used to downgrades. Because I have... On the PSP, there was Mortal Kombat. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do think about it. It was awesome. It didn't look near as well as the PS2, but... Awesome. Uh, oh my god, the PSP was it, during it, the PS2 version. Yeah. Oh my god. And there was Mortal Kombat 9 on the PS Vita. And Injustice was also on the PS Vita. So I was get, uh, expecting a similar experience. And it looks better than Mortal Kombat 9 that was on the PS3. It looks right. better. Uh, it doesn't look as crisp, but uh, it's on par as Mortal Kombat 8. Did you say that on the PS3? Actually, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, uh, Mortal Kombat action. So, like, is it like a on the PS4, huge sorry. difference, or is it like just small differences? Just so that people on that there can under. Uh, they are actually updated the game. They released a patch because before there were some problems with graphics and a slowdown, some fatalities, and that kind of stuff. And now, uh, yesterday. I think, no, it was like Monday. They released a uh, patch for fixing uh, some difficult things because it was really, uh, the AI was really unfair on some kind of stuff. So they fixed the difficulty and in that it's now par with the PS4 and Xbox. But uh, the graphics, they actually released with the patch. They got better the graphics. They, what else? Oh, now. Uh, like on fatalities and things, you can see like the scratches, the damage with the characters that when they're fighting. Because before it was like you stab someone and you don't see any blood, right. uh, you don't see any blood or damage on their bodies, on their clothes. And now you can see that on the Nintendo Switch version. Mm -hmm. uh, but for the Nintendo Switch, it's awesome. Okay, cool. I I got to play Doom on the Nintendo Switch and I enjoyed the hell out of it. I played Doom on the PlayStation yeah. 4, it was epic. I had Resident Evil Revelations 2 on the PS3. Yeah, it actually looks pretty cool. And it looks better on the Switch than on PS3. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. And did Bayonetta you, <laughs> uh, Did you get to play much online? I, actually, how did you get to play online? <laughs> because I, I, well, it was interesting because I, one of the... A lot of the biggest problems with mm -hmm. the Switch, but Switch is unbelievable, yeah. by the way. It's that the online... Sometimes it's not the best. You wanna know why I didn't get to play online? Because you have no friends. No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't renew my Nintendo. I knew I was I got him. I got him. <laughs> yeah, well, at least I'm I your, have. I'm your only friend. I have someone to play cop, and it hasn't been you. But uh, I haven't actually renewed my Nintendo Switch Online service. <laughs> to be honest. No, because Nintendo Switch Online sucks, by the way. Yeah, so I didn't renew I, it. I, I wouldn't be surprised. For me, there was no meaning to renew it. No, 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 I, no. I'm just waiting for something, because I'm not a big online guy. Me either, to be honest. The only games that, they had to be online only for me to get into online, like, uh, because even with Fortnite, I didn't get the hype. Uh, no, me either. Uh, Paladins, I played that for a long time, and it was awesome. Actually. It was online, right? Yeah, it was only online. Uh, but Smash Bros. I don't play online. Uh, you don't play Smash Bros. Online. A lot of people. It sucks. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's the, what I'm trying to say. It's like even the uh, Mortal Kombat, uh, not Mortal Kombat, uh, Mario Kart. I played online. Yeah. So this game for unlocking things, you have to be online. 
right. can only play local on offline, but for online, you need to be online to get towers of time, classic towers, arcade mode. But that's not you don't need Nintendo Switch online for playing uh, the towers and they right. uh, there is actually a AI battles that is kind of like Pokemon in some way because you are a uh, a team of three characters, again, a team of three characters, and it's the AI playing, and you actually have to get to control their stats and everything. That's actually a cool mode, but you don't need Nintendo Switch Online for that. Right. So I haven't played, you only need it for playing online with other people. Right. And I haven't got to play that. Um, uh, don't plan on playing it, to be honest. And, and so, like, for our community uh, of, of designers speak games, would you recommend them to get it? Or, or not really. If you're a hardcore, hardcore Mortal Kombat fan and you only have the Nintendo Switch, totally get it. Yeah. Because just like me, you're gonna enjoy it. Uh, you can see videos on YouTube of the graphics and everything. But when you have it like on the screen and you're playing it's it, other, it's, another it's thing. other thing. Like it happens with all games, even with PS4 games. It looks better when you have it just in front of you. True. And if and if you are a big fighting game fan, get it too. Uh, but if you just wanted to play with, with your friends and you are not really uh, a fan of uh, the series of the series or fighting games in general, you just wanted to play at parties or something like that. Yes, yeah, I never bought it because like I, I I'm not a big fight a mm -hmm. fan of fighting games or like I like Mortal Kombat. I loved it before, but I'm not really. I got for me it's. And another thing now, and I, and I got like away from it, so that's why yeah. I got it. Yeah, you're more single player anyway. Single player, yeah. And um, so, um, yeah. So if you if you like Mortal Kombat, if you yeah. like fighting games, you recommend it, right? Yeah. And if you're only like playing sometimes, or you're not really excited about, wait for a discount. With, uh, with this kind yeah. yeah what is the price the uh, price is 60. It's 60. Oh, it's 60. it's a full price it's oh, a full yeah. price release i pre-ordered it and uh, there's gonna be a combat pack with more characters dlc and there's actually some leaks that terminator is gonna be there ash williams from the evil dead is gonna be there oh. uh, spawn from comics so uh, Buy the combat pack maybe too if you want to have more stuff and characters. But it's not if not just play uh, buy the single the single release. I got to pre-order it, so I go Chao Khan for free. He was a pre-order bonus. Now you can buy it for six dollars. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just for a character. But uh, that's why I pre-ordered the game. And um, so, what would you give out of ten, Luis? Out of 10, like, I had to be fair, compare it to the other versions on the other stuff, like, uh, maybe including the graphics, the online, the uh, frame rate, everything. And maybe it's like an 8 on other consoles, but on the Nintendo Switch, it's a 7.5. You get the full experience. Actually, there is a mod called The Crypt. Stay away from the crib on the switch <laughs> because the game crashes every time. Really? Yeah. There is a mode called the crib. They are fixing it, but but they shouldn't release them. They shouldn't release it. I think it was rushed in some kind of way, but oh. that's not the main mode. That's a mode for unlocking stuff and things like that. But for the main mode, it's amazing. So for me, seven point five out of ten. So great. Uh, thanks, Luis, for that a review of Mortal Kombat Eleven on Nintendo mm -hmm. Switch. Uh, so the designers speak games gives it up yeah 7.5 7 out of 10 um so yeah what guy what uh, video games do you like us to review were i don't know we're like super excited yeah. about designers speak games because we're like a huge um, <laughs> huge geeks, gamer huge, huge nerds, geeks, nerds yeah. about video games we love video games um and we're really looking forward to continuing to develop this in um, the series of design yeah. speak games and just not just a switch we can play on ps4 we can uh, have other consoles mm -hmm. uh, christopher has more consoles i have pc and switch so mm -hmm. stream and stuff yeah like so that's it guys and um, we'll see you guys in the next episode of the speak games bye bye, bye.